Hey, it's Emily. I have you really super zoomed in today because I have some amazing fall makeup to share. I finally got my hands on the new Victoria Beckham Kajal eyeliners. I hope I'm saying that correctly. <laughs> they just came, so I can't wait to unbox them with you. I've also picked up a new fall lipstick and nail combination that I am really digging right now. I So I took a couple days off of work. I was off on Friday and I went and got my hair done. I chopped a lot off of it, but just something about that day, having the day off work, it was a Friday. I stopped at Ulta, picked out this new lip nail combo that I'm going to share with you. And I got myself my first pumpkin spice latte actually i had the pumpkin spice frappuccino which i completely recommend considering it's like still hot outside but it still felt like the beginning of fall which is just like my juiciest season can i just say <laughs> i love fall and there's something about it that brings out my creativity and just wanting to try new things and I love fall fashion. So I um, so I have some fun makeup things to show you, including that Victoria Beckham eyeliner kit that I got. Oh, and I also picked up some really fun things from Amazon. So let's go ahead and dig right into this juicy fall makeup look. Speaking of juicy though, I almost forgot to put on my favorite new perfume from Parfum de Marly. This one is Delina and it is just, oh, it is so feminine, so sultry, sexy, juicy. I, oh, I'm just loving this and people everywhere I go ask me what I'm wearing. It's always this. Okay, so if you've been on Instagram lately, I'm sure that you've seen an advertisement for Victoria Beckham's new Kajal eyeliners. They come in some really fun colors, and they're supposedly super easy to smoke, make a smoky eye look to just kind of smoke out. So let's check them out. They just came. And look at how adorable her packaging is. A little note card here. Um, in, in her handwriting, it's extra little touches like that that I really appreciate. So there's a little sticker here. Oh my goodness. And you open them up and they're in the little, <gasps> how adorable, little dust bag. Let's open it up and play. Okay, so the first one is Olive. Then I got Ash, which is recommended for blue eyes. This was one of the blue eye colors. And then I got Navy. Oh, and they each come with their own little sharpener. How adorable. I just love this. And this is what they look like. Beautiful. This is the Ash Olive Navy a little blending bobber at the end. I'm sure that's a technical term, bobber. <laughs> Let's try navy first. Oh my gosh, you just barely, that is a nice inky navy, but you just barely touch your skin and it's, now we'll try ash. Beautiful, like a taupey kind of gray. Now let's try Olive, which this one I was really super excited to try. Oh my God. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then you can just, you know, oh my gosh. Look at that. These are so good. Oh my gosh. So I just started out today with my basic everyday sort of natural look from the Tartlet in bloom palette i really love this palette um because it has more it has a few warm shades but it has cooler shades which look better on me so i just used these three middle shades to create this sort of everyday basic eye look now let's go in with the olive oh 
so smooth to put on, especially in your waterline. I just barely touched my waterline and it is so dark. Okay, so this is how it looks without it being blended out. I am in love with these pencils. Wow. Pop the comments down below and let me know which color you'd like to see me do next. So then before I got my hair done, I was wandering around shopping and I stopped into Ulta and I saw this beautiful color by Essie for fall. It's called Nailed It and it's the color I have on today. It's a nice like berry, it's more toward the blue tones than the warm tones because I'm a cool tone girl. But I think it's just kind of like a sophisticated without being too dark. I'm not ready to go too dark yet for fall, but I thought this one was really, really beautiful and it's called Nailed It. So while I was there picking this up, uh, this caught my eye because I feel like these go so beautifully together. This is the new Everlasting Lip by Kat Von D. And I just think her packaging is so beautiful. This is kind of like a little art deco. Um, with the ribbing on this. So beautiful. It's called Banberry. So there it is. It is a super long lasting lipstick, uh, liquid lipstick. I did test it on my hand the day that I got my hair done and I did wash my hands several times and it was still there. So I was like, okay, this will be something that I could put on in the morning at work and then just maybe touch it up with um, a little clear gloss towards the end of the day. Cause you know, sometimes those lipsticks can be a little drying, but look at how pretty. And typically I go and get my nails done at the nail salon, but I've really just kind of been enjoying doing my own nails again. And I will show you what I got from Amazon to really help me just kind of fall back in love with the process of doing my nails. I do them at least once a week and it's just kind of like a fun thing. Like sometimes my girls will join me. We'll just have like, hey, let's sit at the table and do our nails together, you know? So I picked up a few things from Amazon that I wanted to share with you, which really makes doing your nails at home a lot easier. I've just got them here in my little... Midwest overdressed mug. So it's this three piece kit and it's these nail files that are made from cut crystal, never go dull really. And you can just like brush them off with this little brush that it comes with to get the dead skin cells off. And then this is the ticket right here. And they each come with their own little sleeve, plastic sleeve and keep the sleeve because these are breakable because they are made from crystal. So this part right here, girls, it's the cuticle pusher. It just, you push back your cuticles with it and then your nail polish just glides on and it makes it so much nicer. So easy, you just like push, push, push. Maybe like trim your cuticles up a little bit, but it really has helped my cuticles come a long way. It makes it easier for me to do my nails myself. It also came with this cute little, um, this is a big flat wide one, which is great for if you're doing a pedicure, you can get your, you know, file down your heels, any sort of calluses you might have or dry rough spots on your feet, this big wide one. So it was a three piece set and I've just been really enjoying the process of doing my nails again and picking out different colors and yeah. So I also this weekend went to Michael's craft store with my girls. They're all crafty, just like me. We just are very creative. So I love that whenever we get a chance to go to Michael's, we go crazy. <laughs> but I am excited because I picked up this really large canvas because there's this spot in my foyer that's been calling to me like it just needs something. And there was this hideous doorbell thing hanging there that I've hated ever since we moved in and I really wanted to cover it so I got this giant canvas and I'm going to hang it over the doorbell <laughs> to cover it and I can't even tell you how much fun it was um, to be I took my easel outside yesterday and I got my paints out and I got my music going and I just like 
painted and I was so in the zone and my creative juices were flowing and it was just so fun and enjoyable and relaxing and I will pop a picture here of my painting that I created and it really wasn't that difficult. I just went on Pinterest and I looked up like abstract art and I just went for it and is it perfect? No, but I love it and I love the fact that I created it myself. So if you should have like a funky spot in your house that you can't stand or maybe there's there's like some sort of imperfection in your wall that you don't like, go grab a canvas, create something like a one of a kind original painting by you and hang it in your space and it's going to make you happy every time you see it. We also picked up my 11 year old loves to crochet and so do I. So we picked up some fun fall colors of yarn and we're going to be crocheting some cute little pumpkins. We pass them out to teachers and friends. Every year we create these little crocheted pumpkins with cinnamon stick stems and it's just fun and people love them and they smell nice and they're just a cute little decoration for fall, but we really love making them. So that, I've just been enjoying some, some intro to fall activities and really just embracing it and having a great time this weekend. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend too. The last thing I wanted to share with you girls, I also picked up from Amazon and it is this cute little belt bag pouch. What I love about this belt bag is that it's so like a Chanel inspired, right? Their new bags have this little push lock thing slide on it and this slides to adjust the belt and you attach it you know around you like a typical belt bag but what I love about it is that I can keep my cell phone in here in a card holder and be out the door hands-free what I really am planning to use it for is at work um, for outfits when I don't have pockets my cell phone can be in here and it's out of the way and if my kids need to reach me you know at school or something like i can actually hear my cell phone ring i just love this little belt bag guys it was under 25 dollars, and this is just an add to cart I, it's so cute it's going to just like upgrade any outfit um, you could put it with just like a plain black that plain black dress that i said looked like morticia adams <laughs> with some knee high boots and then throw this belt bag on. Oh my God, your outfit just went to like a 12. I'm gonna show it here with this cute little tweed skirt that I have, which is also very Chanel-esque. This little tweed skirt is from Ann Taylor. I'll link it. I don't know if it's still available. It's from last season. As always, girls, I will link everything down below. I do have a code for those Victoria Beckham eyeliners that I will link down below. Thank you so much for joining me as usual, and I'll see you girls next week. Bye!